Right golfers and new golfers, this is a video that should help you enjoy your golf more and get the most out of your time on the golf course. We've got Matthew Lockie with us today. Let's share some knowledge, let's drop some knowledge bomb, shall All we? Right. Yeah, let's. So we've got three categories that we're gonna go through. Basic tips that you should just be aware of with swing and set up those kind of ideas. On course help to make sure that you're getting around the course and getting the most fun and not kind of, you know, doing any golf faux pas. And then there's some general rules. Oh. to make sure that you're not uh i like it you know cheating <laughs> <laughs> shall we let's do this beginner golf lessons for everybody should be fun Tip one then, Matthew. I like new golfers, people who are starting just to get their golf grip somewhere in reality. So what I mean by that, any kind of neutrality in the way you hold the club is only gonna help you build some basic motions, some actions that will allow you hopefully to develop some long-term control while at the same time, help you keep developing. Big Pat and I see with beginner golfers who get out there and just give it a go. Let's say they come from another sport. This is a classic cricket grip yeah. or you've got some someone who's like weaker, likes playing choppy tennis shots, they get kind of what we call really weak. This makes the club face control really tough. Then what we see, grips are too crazy from the beginning. Oh, we start seeing crazy drives and crazy movements. Ah, yes, common. Which then makes it very hard to build a long-term future in the game of enjoyment. Get those grips somewhere near neutral. Lead hand, two to three knuckles, right hand, thumb and first finger coming up to my right uh, shoulder here. Loads of good videos on the golf grip. This is free wins, don't give them away. Oh, Mark, you couldn't just move your shadow, could you? Oh, sorry. Couldn't just stand over here, could you? What? Like you're oh. in my way a bit. Fussy much. Uh, <laughs> so where you stand in relationship to someone who's teeing off can yes. really influence it, can't it? Like it really annoys me when someone's just here. I like them there and I know that they're not moving and putting me off. Shadows, like you moving over my ball. Yeah. <laughs> Stop it. Obviously today we've got long shadows, so really easy to cast more space than you're actually thinking you're casting. So into other people's uh, playing area. Also, just making sure you're right out of their field of view. Get this side of them. So if they're a left-handed golfer, you would get that side of them. Players behind you, you just have no idea if you're gonna whack them in the head or not. Nice shot. General idea as well for golfers. Maybe think about playing with people that you enjoy playing with. This is your leisure time. This has to be fun. So that could be people that you want to compete against. You might be that kind of person. It might be someone that you just want to share some time with and chat with. It doesn't have to be just around golf. The golf is something that you're sharing together. But definitely, and the other point as well is it could be playing with new people. You might want to meet new people, different standards of people, all those kinds of things. Find out what you want and find those people. And make them your golf buddies. I like playing with someone He's not afraid to lose a few balls. <laughs> I wouldn't put your bag there. Why not? Well, are you going to swing and hit it? Uh, well, if I do that, then it's out of the way, isn't it? Uh, I wouldn't do that either. That's going to get very wet. Oh, you're fussy, you golfers, aren't you? Well, like, you could just put it to the right and then there's no issues whatsoever every time. Ah! Like, you can step behind your ball, you can do your practice swings, you're not going to get your clubs wet. Well, you say that, the shadow's in the way now. <laughs> a bit further to the right <laughs> and usually level with you as well and your ball there you go and then shadows aren't a problem all right god i like the way you've put that there thank you so even though we're joking and mucking around there this is something that's really common with golfers they get in their own way being aware of your equipment and yourself definitely will just help you not waste as much time and i, I i'm not a big one for slow play i know there's slow play issues and not kind of ideas but these little things times 100 shots or times 80 full shots that you might have will just add up and kind of grind you and your partners down a bit. And what you've got to remember is that you can always move to your shot while your playing partners are hitting theirs. Just be careful of where you're standing though. You can always walk up the side or behind them depending on what level golfer they are so they don't shank it into you etc but you can always move up the hole 
while your playing partners are hitting. Nice shot. Thanks, Brat. So golf lessons, Matthew. How important is it to take golf lessons in I, this game? Certainly at the beginning. Yeah, I think that's real key. At the beginning is the most important, getting your basics right. So like you said on the tee a minute ago, not having a real extreme grip to start with and then having everything else funky to work around that grip. Getting lessons at the start to correct these things, I see as one of the main things of getting into golf. Because in Europe, they have a thing, I don't know if they still do it, they used to, a green card. So oh, you can't right, go yeah. on a course until you've had a certain, it's like a driving test. Yeah, yeah. Where the UK, and I don't know about it, it's a little bit like, we have a few beers, come and have a game of golf. Now I think that's great as well. Yeah. But I did see when I was teaching lots of beginners, a, a, a bigger crash okay. rate. Yeah. Because golf's a real leveler, like it can really kick you in the teeth. So if you don't get that help from the beginning, what happens is they have a bit of fun getting out there and then they realise how difficult it is and then they just start not doing that. Yeah, not doing that Where again. Where if you yeah. build those foundations up a little bit more at the start, again, I saw more longevity in the students that were coming from beginners. We used to have a, we used to try and get golfers on the course within six lessons. That was our goal and our pledge to our students. Yeah. And we took them to a par three course. If we you, did that East Devon. Perfect. Six and lessons. You get them six, you know, here's why your grip's important. And they would come back for their lessons after that thinking it now really makes sense why you're saying that posture affects x y and z because that yeah. ball was in different positions now it really makes sense why you keep moaning at me about that grip because i just kept it in everything one direction yeah um having lessons from the beginning definitely is huge When you're walking along, playing a game, have a little bit of awareness of maybe other holes, other people on the oh! course. Oh my God. So even as I'm filming this video, so there's a tee up here on the left and what happened is I'm walking up the left just happily filming my YouTube masterpiece. And really I shouldn't because I'm now only like 15 yards from that fairway. Maybe walking a little bit more down here on the right side is a better idea if I have that awareness that other golfers are out here playing as bad or as good as me. Get used to playing with different clubs in different lives. So get used also to changing clubs. This is something I see amateurs not practice enough. And certainly new golfers. Something I used to do with lots of my new golfers when we were doing lessons is I would get them to hit two shots with a driver, three with an iron and then a pitch and just randomize once they got some basic technique. Because you can think about this hole. I've hit a tee shot. I've then had to hit a second shot, which the ball was slightly below my feet. I've now got a pitch where it's slightly above my feet and the ground's this way and it's an awkward distance, it's an in-between distance. So getting used to the rapid changes that you will get on the golf course is huge for helping you get out there and have fun. I do see a lot of golfers get used to one shot, one club, and then they get on the course and wonder why it's not working as well. The reason it doesn't work as well is you've got to be practicing your diversity on the course, lofts, lies, different lofts of uh, trajectories as you're hitting to really get the fun out of the game. Oh, don't go in. Oh, I have it. A lovely shot. Well done, me. What? Well done, don't, me. Don't well done, me. There. Well done, me. Look don't a put good your bag shot. There. What a good shot. Hey, hey, hey. What? Don't, don't put your bag there. What are you on about? Next tee's over that way, look. Oh, but what, I'm going to make my birdie. No, no. You put your bag there and then you walk off in the direction of the tee, you know? Play with people you like was one of the tips. <laughs> Back I come. All in line. Hole bag tea like it so we're obviously mugging around there but that will just help you not really upset the people behind and the big thing which is what i was joking about there when you're on a golf course you're going up and down with emotions i'm excited i'm gonna make my first ever birdie i'm not thinking about my bag i'm thinking about that birdie again it's just that awareness of everything else i'm definitely gonna be readdressing who i play golf with <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you got one of these and repair your pitch marks if you hit the green. If you don't repair someone else's, because people forget. So I'm going to try and put this green back. See how I'm just out, just upping it and back in from the middle. Little tap down with your putter. Oh, that's lovely. Thank you. Just keeps the green in a good condition for everyone else playing. Uh, just mind your shadow again, oh, please, Mark. Sorry. Do you want the flag attended, sir? Uh, I'll have it left in now as okay. I'm allowed. Thank Ooh. you. So just asking how they want the flag, helps the pace of play go. You're kind of working as a bit of a team when you're out there. When you're on the green, you're allowed to mark your ball. Good rule of thumb. So I would mark directly behind, pick the ball up, I can clean it, and then I'm pushing it back 
or putting it back straight down in front. You are, I think, don't quote me on this, but I'm pretty sure you can mark it wherever you want. It's just when you start marking it in other places, it definitely does open up to a little bit of ideas of doing the wrong thing. It's, it's just not really done. Straight behind the ball, you're not gonna get into any of those awkward golf arguments. So don't walk on your line. See, I've just crossed my line, my imaginary line from the ball to the hole, and certainly other people's. You can straddle, go across, or kind of a better rule of thumb for people is to go round, just go round the golfer's line so you're not affecting their putt. People might get a bit funny thinking that you're trying to change the quality of their green, the quality of their read. Ah! Oh. I, th I think as you get better as well and uh, understand slopes and stuff a bit more, always going on the low side sensible too. Yeah, I think that's a good um, idea. But that's like as you get better and better, I think. Yeah, like it. Oh, nope. Oh, no. Oh, no. Matt, you don't need to keep going, bruh. No. We might just need just to- one more. No, we might need to move on. When you're playing, think about it. It's, if you're playing even for score, it's double bogeys. That'll yeah. count as a double bogey. So just like you just move on a little. We don't, if you're taking 20 to get out of a bunker, pick it up, move on, hit a chip, play for fun, and then go and practice in the bunker take a drop out of it yeah exactly <laughs> exactly you do not have to score play yeah. for fun or play for score but remember when you play for score even uh, everything's going to come back down to double bogey for bad holes are double bogey yes. people just let's let's move on one more no more right make sure you share this video with anyone that it could help because i see these ideas even though they're aimed at new golfers to so share it with the new golfer friends or anyone who's just beginning as well there might be some people you play with who do these things who've played for years who might need a little reminder absolutely there's plenty of people that need help out there isn't there yeah and if it's your friends just share it with them a friendly share friendly share yeah hey john <laughs> look at this video look at the Go. bit about not keeping <laughs> Go to timestamp 8 minutes 40, John. Might That's share you. <laughs> I might share it with Rory. Oh, Rory, yeah. you don't need to keep score, friend. <laughs>